every sales team I talk to has the same problem. They're all drowning in CRM data, and sometimes it's just too much information to analyze. It's no secret, ChatGPT has become everyone's go-to. And now HubSpot's ChatGPT connector lets you tap directly into your HubSpot data and get AI-powered insights. HubSpot is the first CRM to launch this kind of connector. I'm gonna show you exactly how to connect your HubSpot and ChatGPT account, how to prompt to get some of those AI insights, and ultimately up-level your sales reporting. Follow along if you wanna try for yourself, just click the link in the description below. Let's get started. Here's what you need to get connected. On the ChatGPT side, you need an Enterprise, Teams, Pro, Plus, or EDU account. Now, if you're in Europe, you'll need an Enterprise, Teams, or EDU account. On the HubSpot side, you'll need super admin permissions to set it up or app marketplace permissions. Once you've set things up, your team can access the ChatGPT connector and HubSpot with their logins. If you're worried about data privacy, don't be. Once you connect your HubSpot and your ChatGPT accounts, your HubSpot data stays completely private. Here's the simple setup process. So I will open ChatGPT's web version, one of my favorite home pages here on my computer, and we will click right here where we'd prompt on this tools dropdown. And then you wanna hit deep research. Here, you'll be able to see all of the different connectors. What we'll do is just find HubSpot under sources, and we will click connect. It is that easy. Now all we need to do is log into our HubSpot account. Let's just put our username and our password in. We will quickly log in here and get everything set up. Give it just a second, make sure it's connected. All right, now what we wanna do is return back to ChatGPT and when we're ready, we can click on tools, select deep research and see this little toggle right here, hit that and just like that, you're connected to HubSpot. One thing I think that's so cool is if you have a sales team and maybe you have different permissions set up in HubSpot where certain team members can't see other team members' deals, ChatGPT doesn't then give everyone access to all the data. It respects your HubSpot's permissions. One last thing. Let's say you have two sales teams who aren't supposed to see each other's deals. ChatGPT's connector respects those permissions that you set up in HubSpot, making sure the right data is only available to the right people. Now, let's see ChatGPT work for individual reps. One of the coolest things it can do is scan all your data and identify expansion opportunities, as well as go into each deal and identify some risks that you might've missed. First up, let's look at some expansion opportunities. What I will do here in ChatGPT, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use one of HubSpot's recommended prompts about industry segmentation. So we go ahead and type this in here. We are looking for basically companies in my HubSpot that are split up by revenue, industry, and technology stack. And based on all of that information that I'm giving ChatGPT, I want it to do a little bit of work for me. I'm gonna ask it to identify the top areas for enterprise expansion. Now watch what happens when I hit enter. You'll see ChatGPT came back, it read through the question, and it kind of came up with some questions of its own. So I'll go in and I'll answer these follow-up questions. What you wanna do is give it as much context as possible. I think the more you're able to provide it in these responses, the better it's gonna get at giving you the data and the insights that you actually need. So let's go ahead and answer everything and we will hit enter. Now, ChatGPT is diving into my HubSpot data. It is looking through industries, technologies used, companies, and it's looking for expansion opportunities that I might have missed. Now it does take a little bit because it's a deep research connector. So in about eight or nine minutes or so, I should be able to come back and see what it's put together for me. Once it loads, we'll see right here, it has actually given me a ranked list of my best expansion opportunities. You can see it's even given me specific reasons why each company is a good fit. It looks like it's broken things down by industry, by tech stack, and even by enterprise fit, just like I asked it. And based on all of that, it's identified some of these top opportunities here. Now I know what you might be thinking, like, well, where is it getting this data from? It's from HubSpot, but how do I know it's actually matching up? Let me show you something that's really cool. If you come over here and you see all of these sources on the side panel and these clickable citations, go ahead and try clicking one of these and you will see it takes you straight to the HubSpot record page that it pulled it from. So I can see if I have any questions about these companies, I can click in and it will take me straight to my company record. From there, I may wanna start prospecting immediately and figuring out if this is a good fit for expansion. Next up is deal risk detection. Now we've all been there. 
you're working that deal, and all of a sudden things start to get a little quiet. We can use ChatGPT to actually identify those risks ahead of time and help us intervene. This is what it looks like. So I will go ahead and ask ChatGPT to analyze my pipeline, and I want it to look for deals that are over 10K. And because I'm looking for deal risks here, I want it to kind of go in and spot some of those trends for me. So I might ask it to identify things that are missing stakeholders or maybe deals that just haven't moved through the pipeline. Then in addition to this information, I need a little bit of help prioritizing where I'm gonna reach out first. So what I'll do is I'll ask it to rank by urgency and also I'll take it a step further and ask it to suggest any next steps. Once I hit enter, you can see just like with the previous prompt, it's asked me a couple follow-up questions Let's go ahead in here and we will enter all of these now, making sure we're able to give ChatGPT as much context as it needs. Because remember, the more we give it, the more it is able to give us. All right, once we've got everything answered here, we can go ahead and hit enter. And you can see ChatGPT is running that deep research query. It's going through all of my deals and it's looking for some of those things that I said could be some red flags and ultimately, helping me find deals that I should reach out to first. Now, once it's ran through the query, we can come in here and you can see it has given me um, a list of deals, some activities. It's even told me which ones I need to prioritize so I know exactly where I need to intervene. All right, now that I've used ChatGPT to plan some expansion opportunities, as well as identify some deal risks, I have another quick game-changing prompt that'll help you take your sales to the next level. So we've looked at expansion opportunities and we've even looked at individual deal risks. But sometimes we all have those deals that just kind of get stuck and we don't really know why. So I have one more prompt to show you here that'll help you take your sales to the next level. So what we will do is we wanna look at win rates and we wanna look at sales cycles length. And we're gonna ask ChatGPT in this prompt to compare both of those. And I wanna set a threshold for maybe, let's say over 25K in deal sizes this quarter versus last. I want ChatGPT to highlight things like the slowest stages and maybe recommend one tactic per stage that I can use to keep the deals moving. Just like before, I'll hit send and answer any of these follow-up questions that it asks me. All right, once we've got all the follow-up information, go ahead and let it start to do its analysis. And when it's done, we'll come back here and you'll see it's giving me exactly where my bottlenecks are happening. I see some really good win rate comparisons here, and it's actually starting to recommend tactics to fix at each of these problem stages. As a sales rep, I can take all of these insights on expansion opportunities, deal risks, and pipeline progression, and really up-level my sales strategy using ChatGPT. Let's say you're managing a team or you're in a leadership position. These next few prompts in ChatGPT are going to make your planning meetings that much stronger. Let me show you how. So I will have ChatGPT help out with some team performance analysis here. I'm gonna ask it to compare my performance for the team this quarter. We wanna see things like conversion rates by stage, deal sizes, cycle lengths, and ultimately identify coaching opportunities and top performer best practices. One quick note, if you want that rep by rep level analysis, make sure you specify that you're looking for the deal owner. That way ChatGPT knows exactly what to look for. Once we hit enter here, you will see some of these follow-ups. Let's go ahead and answer those. So it is able to do this analysis as best it can. All right, let's let it generate that research. Once it's done, we can come in here and we can see a pretty detailed performance breakdown of different coaching opportunities. It's given me a whole table of reps and stages with some key notes here as well, giving me a bit of insights. Additionally, it's given me information about average deal size and cycles. We can see it's compared that for all of my different reps. Really, really cool. Now, let's talk territory planning. Territory planning is one of the most painful things I think you have to go through as a sales leader. The process of carving up accounts, regions, and making sure things are fairly distributed among your sales teams. Well, the good news is this ChatGPT connector with HubSpot is here to make it easy for you. So what we will do is we will go in and ask for some help. So let's have it plan my territory analysis by things like geography, company size, and for my company, industry is huge. So we wanna make sure we segment by that. 
We want ChatGPT to also help us identify things like underperforming segments and opportunities for white space. So let's answer some of those follow-up questions now that it's given us those. So it's able to best help do some of this territory planning. Once we answer those, we'll let it run. And honestly, what used to take hours of time, kind of going around in Excel, is now delivered in just minutes. Let's take a look at this territory report. We can see ChatGPT is gone and it started to identify some of these segments, some verticals, and things that I can leverage to plan my team's book of business. We can see breakouts by geography right here. We can also see some breakouts by company size. And just like I asked for, we see some industry breakouts as well, as well as its take on underperforming segments and areas per prioritization. Bringing this information about account opportunities to my team meetings has never been as easy as this now with the connector. All right, one more really cool one. Let's say we wanna do a little bit of work on our pipeline health. Basically, how likely are all the deals that my team has to actually close? So ChatGPT can go in, we can ask it to analyze my team's current quarter pipeline. We wanna know things like deals that are at risk of slipping, deals that are likely to pull forward, basically overall forecast accuracy based on how things have gone in the past. Let's hit enter and we will answer some of these follow-ups here. So it's able to do this pipeline health report for me as accurately as possible and then hit enter. All right, now that ChatGP's had some time, it's gone through and it's ran the analysis. You can see these insights go way beyond gut feeling. First, it's given me a list of at-risk deals. For example, this one here, it's showing me that it has not moved stages in a while, and it also looks like there weren't as many activities as there could have been. It's like giving me a recommendation too that I can pass on to my rep to help move things along. Now below here, you can also see it show me deals that may close sooner. You can see there's some key notes as well on things like forecasting accuracy and confidence. What I love is how it's done a really deep dive into my team's pipeline and given me a lot of information that I might not have seen just kind of sifting through some of those deals. This helps plan your team strategy based on what works in your business. No more guesswork. Remember, these tools are here to help you not only up-level and boost rep, but team performance as well, all using the power of AI. If you wanna get started with the HubSpot and ChatGPT Deep Research Connector, just click the link in the description below. I'm Alex, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.